In this video, I'm going to tell you why the factory is absolutely amazing and why you have to play it. And all of this goodness is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang. If this is your first time here, if you're just as excited about VR and AR as me, and if you appreciate independent reviews, then subscribe to this channel now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. So let me tell you what I think of the factor. First of all, the facts. It's available starting from today and it will set you back $20. And these $20 are a steal. Even if it would be priced at $39, it would still be an amazing value for what you get. You get blockbuster entertainment that is simply incredible. And no worries, I'm not going to spoil the game for you. These are the first scenes of the game where you're still learning the ropes. Like, for example, now they're going to teach me hand-to-hand -hand combat. Later in this review, I will show scenes from later in the game, but I'm going to warn you before I do so, so rest assured, no spoilers here. So what is this defector all about? Well, did you always want to feel like James Bond or Ethan Hunt or Jason Bourne? Well, this game is going to make you feel like exactly that, like you are a top secret agent and you are on a mission impossible. Now, if this reminds you a bit of Blood and Truth, the PSVR smash it and exclusive, then you are right. Because, well, there are some similarities. Like, for example, how the missions are structured. Just like in Blood and Truth, you are debriefed and you kind of remember those missions and then you do go into those missions. So that's kind of interesting, but there are also quite a few differences and these differences make the game amazing in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, I love Blood and Truth, but for Blood and Truth it kind of felt for me like I'm in a movie and well it's great that I can be in a movie, but I felt like there's not enough control. For this game you have much more control and it starts already with the movement. So it's not like you can only teleport to some locations like in Blood and Truth. No, here you have completely free movement and that is really a big difference. And using that free locomotion you need to solve puzzles even though the puzzle solving is kept quite low and it's more about action but it's kind of nice to see that Sometimes you need to solve puzzles, you need to find something, you need to find a switch or so. And that simply gives you the feeling that you are in control and that you're not just watching a movie. And yes, sometimes you need to push a button at the right time. No, here it feels like you are in control. You are that super agent and well, you're solving that incredible case. Moreover, what is really nice, sometimes the game will ask you to make decisions. Like for example, should you follow guy A or should you follow guy B? Or should you go way A or should you go way B? And this gives the game replayability. So yes, I have already played it through, obviously, right? So it took me around three and a half hours. But now that I played it through, I'm totally going to play it again because I want to go for the other decisions. And I want to find out what would have happened if I, well, went for the other guy or if I went for the other decision. And that is cool. And again, it gives you this feeling of freedom. As what the game mechanics are concerned, well, first of all, you have free locomotion, as I told you before. And then you're wearing some cool <laughs> AR lenses and I've just activated them. And once you activate those lenses, well, you can find something like now I have found this case here. So that is kind of interesting. So if you're looking for something, if you're looking for the next clue on what to do next, well, simply activate those special AR contact lenses and check out what's around you in your environment. Then what you've just seen, there was my inventory. I can put things into my inventory and you simply pull it up with a single button click. You can put things inside, you can take things out and everything is super intuitive. 
What is nice though, the game is not purely about action, even though most of the time you are in amazing action set pieces, but there's also some conversation and you will need to pick the right answers and giving the wrong answers, well, you will also face consequences and you might even die when you choose the wrong answers. So very, very interesting, but most of the time it's simply about amazing, really, really amazing set pieces <laughs> like you will see here in a moment. And um, yeah, at the end of the video, again, I'm going to show you a bit more of these set pieces and then you can either watch it or you could stop the video. Let me talk a moment about the production values, like how this game looks like, how the graphics are like, and I can just say, triple a it just looks amazing fantastic graphics using the rift as this looks fantastic you are in mission impossible you are in fast and furious you are in any of these amazing triple a productions like now for example i am in this car and i'm going to shoot through the rear of this airplane and yeah what is going to happen you will see in a moment Unfortunately, I'm still using that AR look. I should have turned it off. But uh, yeah, you simply have an idea about the set pieces, about what's happening, what crazy things are happening. And it's just like one there, amazing set awesome. piece after the way, next. The it's just a triple A production. And uh, yeah, you are going to love it. It seldom happens to me that a game captures my attention like this one. Normally I play like 30 minutes and then I stop and probably I'm gonna go back or even not. But for this game, I actually wanted to play it through in one sitting or in one standing, but I couldn't because sometimes I needed to make a break and then I directly went back in. It's just so captivating and there's really quite nothing like Defector. Also in terms of immersion, they've done just such a great job. The gunplay, it feels just right. How you wield the weapons, how you wield the different kind of weapons. It feels just like you are that super agent, you are in that movie. And uh, yeah, everything super intuitive and I simply loved the experience every single moment. There was really never a dull moment. There was never a dull moment where I felt like, oh no, that is boring, it's a bit uh, lengthy this part, no. Just amazing action from beginning to the end. And you see, I'm not even cutting this experience right now. You're just watching the first few minutes of the game and it's already just like this. Just so much things are going on. I was really surprised about the price because $20 is absolutely cheap for this game. And I know some of the community thought like, wow, $20? That can't be good then, right? It must be worse than Blood or Truth because why would they sell it for such a cheap price? But I can tell you, no. This is not in any way worse than Blood and Truth and in many ways actually better in my opinion. I really, really recommend this game. You're going to have so much fun and these $20 they are so well invested and everyone who loves VR and always want to be the special agent, want to be in Mission Impossible, you need to get this game. So you're probably asking yourself, hey, I don't have a Rift or Rift S, can I still play this game with Revive on my Valve Index or on my Vive or my Pimax? Well, I tried that, but unfortunately, it didn't work. I suppose that the revived guys, they will need some time to make it happen and probably it's going to happen in a week or two or I don't know how long they need, but at this moment in time, I was not able to play Defector on any of the other VR headsets using Revive. All right, that's it for my review. Again, you need to get this, you need to play this. This is truly amazing and a big MRTV thumbs up. All right, so now if you want to watch some more scenes of this game to give you an idea of what's happening later, then simply stay tuned until after the outro because then I'm going to show you some more scenes. For all of the others, simply stop watching this video once you see the MRTV 
outro. That's everything that I got for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now and click the bell button so you don't miss anything. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode. This is going to sting a bit, I'm afraid.